Hey guys, it's Chris. Welcome back to my channel. Um, oh, I'm stuck. Um, so I'm doing a video today, a smelly video. Smelly, smelly, smelly. Um, I don't know if you guys watched my last Solstice Scents haul, and you guys know that that is my ultimate um, company for, you know, my smellies, my, um, what you call it, it's my stuff that I love, my perfumes and body oils and all that kind of stuff. Um, but I recently tried, <coughs> excuse me, somebody had asked me, or somebody had posted in that video, because I was looking for another um, another company, just it, for, you know, like when I can't get my favorite scents from Solstice Scents. So this is from CocoPink.net. Um, I will post their link below. This is my invoice that I got. Let me see here. Oop, wrong. It's a cute little cupcake. Their site is really, really cute, cute. And what I mostly ordered, they had a, not, I don't know if it was a sale, but you could buy samplers, um, vial, dr dram vials for $18 and you get six cents. So I did that. Um, that's what I did because I kind of wanted to see if any of these scents were similar. Um, and, you know, kind of like how they stacked up to solstice scents um let me see so it says coco pink offers fresh handmade from scratch not pre-made bases bath and body products that are sls and paraben free all of our products are custom made especially for you at the time you place your order we hope you enjoy we'd love to hear from you let me see if it says here so i placed this on april 5th and today is what the 14th so it of course on the invoice it still says order process oh it says processed but it didn't say, it never said ship. Like, I never got, like, a, sh you know, okay, it's been shipped and you can track it kind of thing. I kept coming back to the site and logging in and looking, and it just kind of said processed. This was U UPS Priority Mail today. So, you know, you can use PayPal with this. Um, you know, I mean, everything being pre-made, okay, I know Solstice Sense um, does ship super, super, duper fast. But this was my first, you know, go around with this. Is this something that I would... Uh, mind waiting for a little longer if you know I love the products absolutely so I got some scents and I also got some a few other things that I will show you um let me see here what I got I was kind of surprised because it all came in this little box and I got a total of six twelve Twelve. Hold on. Wait a second. I'm confused. Six files were eighteen. Then six cents were three fifty. Three fifty and three fifty. Okay. I don't know. Maybe they had a sale going on. I'm a little confused about this. Don't really know. But I got quite a lot of cents here. So I got like about twenty four cents. So I was kind of surprised. But you know, we'll see what happens. So I got. Oh, this was a this was a freebie because I didn't order this. This is Princess Poo, it's called, which is kind of funny. And this is a shampoo, SLS and paraben free shampoo. Um, it says sulfate free, natural cleansers that do not strip hair, color safe. Um, so because I just got my hair done, this will be interesting to try out because I just bought some stuff at Walgreens. Um, rosemary extract, lavender extract, rose extract, lemongrass extract. So, fragrance, all that other kind of stuff. This is in blackberry cotton candy frosting. I'm trying to see if I can open this here just to smell it. Mmm. Wow, this smells really good. This smells really blackberry. I'm not so much that I get the cotton candy. But it's very sweet and juicy smelling. I really like that smell, so I will have to try this. 
and let you guys know what I think. Um, let me see what these other things are. I wish I had my scissors. I don't. I just have this super dull knife. So, what is this? These look like some more freebies. Or maybe not. Maybe these are my drams. Nope, these are the drams. Okay, so they come in this cute little wrapper like this. There's three of them in here, it looks like. And there's the CocoPink.net, if you guys are looking. Um, so it's wrapped in tissue paper. And they come in this size, which I like, because you can try it before you buy anything. Actually, I think all they sell is drams, to be honest with you. Come on. Perfume vial. And it's made, um, you can pick your base too, which I thought was kind of cool. Mine's got coconut oil and jojoba. Um, you can pick what kind of base you want. Let me just look quickly here. Body. Perfume. Okay, so these Dream vials are $3.50. So I don't know why she charged me $3.50 when I got one, two, three, four, five. I got like 24 cents. I don't know if they're all in here. I'm gonna be 100 percent honest with you. Because you get you could get the um the six pack for 18. So I'm gonna have to chuck these off as I go. But this is in because they also come in the perfume oil, 10 milliliters in like the roller balls, and they also come in sprays. But what's cool about this is that you can your per, you can pick your perf perfume base. These are all oil based, I guess. There were other choices too. Oh, oil based or alcohol based. So I picked oil based. So this is in Black Voodoo. Let me get the scent list here for you. No, and it's not. It's not going to show me. Okay, Black Voodoo is black, double vanilla, butterscotch, bourbon vanilla, hot butter rum, and coconut cream. I'm just going to shake this up a little bit. But I like this better than, I mean, for Solstice Suds, I'm not sure how much their little um, vials are, but they're much smaller than these. So I could get like two, three, four, five, whatever uses out of this. Um, if I'm just going to use it, you know, to dab on as a perfume. Um, I do tend to kind of, you know, when they're oil based, I, I tend to overdo. Um, and I, so I think this is cheaper than purchasing the fragrance, um, what do you call it, samples from Solstice Scents. Hmm. This is really nice. You can, I can actually smell the bourbon, so the bourbon, vanilla, hot buttered rum, butterscotch. Really, really, really nice. I like this a lot. Okay. And I like this, these drams actually better than the, this is the Black Voodoo, than what Solstice Sense gives you when you have to kind of back and forth, back and forth, do the twist, you know, do the, the rocking motion to pull the thing off without spilling that little bit of stuff because that's one use to me. So this is, this is neat. I'm, so far I'm liking this. This is pretty cool. Okay, so here's another one. This is in Butterscotch Marshmallow Frosting. I think that's probably self-explanatory, but I will. And I know they just said that their fall line is gone and their spring line is up. So let me see. Butterscotch. Marshmallow frosting. Thick, thick waves of brown sugar and vanilla. Saturated butterscotch folded gently into sugary marshmallow froth, froth, froth frosting. I just woke up a little while ago, guys, so excuse me if I cannot speak today. Hmm. This is nice. This is definitely um, softer than the Voodoo. Oh, God, it smells so good, though. Oh, this is so sweet and butterscotch and marshmallowy. Wow. 
And this really packs a punch. I cannot wait to see how this dry, dries down. Ooh. Okay. I'm really loving this. Really, really, really am. Because I was looking for my foodie scents, and, you know, I couldn't really... Um, Solstice scents, like, really didn't have them anymore. So this is really cool. This is called the Unread. Let's see here what this is. I mean, I don't really know what they are because they're not like, you know, they're not like your normal. Let me see. I mean, because they have a Twinkie scent. Okay, the Unread. This blood would make any vampire or any or other undead creatures stalk your bathroom. Buckets of blood, bloody orange juice, sweet vanilla, bourbon vanilla, sandalwoods, and ambers. Hide this well or you will find it missing by morning. That's pretty funny. Um, they also... Hold on, let me just smell this one first. This is just a really nice orange scent. I'm not, like, right now smelling the vanilla or the sandalwoods or ambers, but orange, like, really tends to overtake stuff. The other thing, you know, like I said, I love this labeling. I just want to show it to you real quick. I love this labeling, but again, this is paper. I really, really wish that perfumers would put some sort of waterproof labels as opposed to these sort of like paper ones because I just really feel like, God forbid, you drip something, you know, down here and then you don't know what's going to happen. So I will be putting packing tape like I do with Solstice Scents on these. This one's really good too. This is a, just a fruity, citrusy scent. Like I said, I'm on, you know, without putting it on my skin and having it dry down and all that other stuff. I'm not smelling the amber or sandalwood or anything. This butterscotch marshmallow frosting is to die for, though, to let you know. Um, okay, so next we have, if I had known they came like this, this one came in purple, which is my favorite color. There's actually six of them in here, so I probably did get all my scents. I will be checking them for you. Um, I like that they're in tissue, because then you can just pull them off really easy peasy, super easy, and then you have all your scents. So they fit They fit six in here. So this one is called CP Black. And CP Black is, oh my God, I can't get over this butterscotch. It's crazy. I want this. I wish they had spray oils, but they don't. But I may get these in like whole perfumes. Oof. Um, some of these, definitely I will. This, this, Butterscotch is amazing. Um, CP Black is, I'm sorry I have to scroll, you guys, because it takes longer, but CP Black. It's not on here anymore. Oh, no, don't say that. No, 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 no. It must, ah, oh, this must have been from the fall winter line, and they just got rid of that. Okay, I can't tell you what it is. Do they have just a black? Hmm. Oh, no. Because they have a lot of blacks, like black sugar cake, black vanilla. So do they have just black? Oh, no. Oh, black CP exclusive. Okay, so this is it's a it's a pink um, cocoa pink exclusive. These are two types of rich amber resins and a little something more. That is the delicious sexy note in our black blends. So this is just the this they blend these with a lot of different things, but I just got the plain black because I love amber. Mm, and this is amazing. If you love amber scents, I mean, like I said, I burn amber resin all the time. I, oh my God, I love it, love it, love it. Oh, okay, let me test this one. Let me test this one for you. 
I'm really shocked as to how potent these are. Yeah, this one's not as potent. This would be good for layering. But it does have a nice um, amber smell, which I love. Wish it was a... Ooh. Actually, the more I smell it, though. Wish it was a little more potent. Mmm. But I do like this. So far, the butterscotch marshmallow has to be my favorite. The unread is actually really good, too, if you like the citrus the citrus scents. Okay, this is peanut butter swirl ice cream. And I love anything peanut butter. So like I said, I was kind of going for fruity, and then I just went nuts on the list. So each of these is $3.50. Totally, totally worth it, in my opinion because they're super duper concentrated. That butterscotch marshmallow is whoo, to die for and like blowing me away. So peanut butter, H-I-J-K-L-M-N-O. You guys are going to hear me singing the alphabet song a lot in this video. L-M-N-O-P. They have one called Midnight Hag. That's funny. Um... Cold black vanilla bean ice cream swirled with gobs of creamy peanut butter with chopped pretzel pieces folded in. Now, the pretzel pieces kind of threw me, but I said, you know what, Chris? For $3.50, like, give it a shot, right? I'm going to lose space on where I can test these things here. <laughs> Mm, this is really good too. This is, um, I'm trying to put this on because I don't want to spill anything. The peanut, peanut butter is not overwhelming. But you definitely get the vanilla bean. I, you know, I don't know. Like, I wished it was a little more peanut buttery. Mm, but it smells really, really, really good. Chopped pretzel pieces. Like, I, I don't know if because I'm reading it, I smell it. Or not. It's kind of funny. And like, what does a pretzel smell like? You know what, I, you know what I'm saying? It's kind of like that soft pretzel smell. Almost a little bready, but not really. I know that probably doesn't make any sense. This one's nice. Like I said, I wish it was more peanut butter. Don't know if I'd reorder this one. I would definitely reorder the butterscotch marshmallow frosting so far and the anti-red. Okay, then I got, which I know most people go, ew, when they see this, but I got patchouli, pink patchouli, because I love patchouli scents. Love them, love them. Um, pink patchouli is... They have a lot of pinks, too. So if you guys like pink blends, they have pink lemonade, pink frosting, pink frenzy, which is bubblegum, watermelon, bubblegum, pink cotton candies, um, with cherry, pink lemonade, pink marshmallows. I mean, they have pink cupcakes, they have pink dragon, pink chiffon, pink agave stiletto. I mean, they have a lot of pinks. Pink patchouli is sweet aged patchouli blended with pink sugar. So kind of like what you'd figure it is. This is really good. This pink sugar, though, smells almost like um, citrusy. It's kind of weird. I'm not sure. I mean, I love the patchouli anyway. No, I can smell the pink. It's really, really good. This looks funny, right? Me smelling my fingers. That looks pretty funny. Sorry, guys. Um... I love this. It is patchouli, but the pink absolutely gives it that sweetness to it that tones it down so you're not like, oh, patchouli, which, I mean, I love the, oh, patchouli. But this is really good. But it almost gives it like a patchouli citrus blend. It's kind of weird. 
it's not really your typical pink. It kind of reminds me of like pink lemonade with patchouli. I don't know. I know that sounds really gross, but it smells really good. Um, okay. This one is black chocolate. And by the way, these were given, um, suggested to me by Nicole, um, who is a loyal stubby and friend of mine. Love her to death. So I just had to try, try it out. And it was kind of like she listed some other ones and I went to the other sites and I was making lists and stuff. And then I saw they had these in the drams and I was like, you know what? I'm going to try this company first. The, I'm not going to lie. The website kind of sucked me in because it was so cute. But I just said, okay, I'm going to try this. So this is in black chocolate. I love chocolate scents. You guys know my Coco, Mar my Coco Mallow from Solstice Scents. Hello, focus. Why am I not focusing here? What's going on? There we go. My Coco Mallow from Souls to Sense is one of my all-time favorites. Um, so I needed some more chocolate in my life. This black chocolate, obviously, is the mix of the black that I explained to you, um, which is, let me read it again real quick. Black is ambers and then chocolate. So it's like a chocolate amber. Dark complex Belgian chocolate laced with two types of rich amber resin. Wow, it's windy out today. Holy moly. I don't know if you guys hear that. It sounds like a tornado. Oh my God, the, my grill covers come flying off. Everything's flying all over the place. But it's like 73 out. It's craziness. Um, so black chocolate is dark complex belgian chocolate laced with two types of rich amber resin our chocolate does not morph on the skin but remains a lovely true scent which i loved that because most perfumes have this patchouli pink is really good pink patchouli is really really good most um scents this mar butterscotch marshmallow that was still my favorite do morph on the skin holy crap okay this is amazing. Okay, so I am definitely getting this. Um, here, let me test it on my on a different finger. It's kind of it's kind of hard to test a whole bunch of perfume oils at the same time because you're like, wow, this is awesome. I ordered from Solstice Scents their amber um, their chocolate absolute which was a premium blend, and it was $15. I think I showed you guys in my last Solstice scent, scent haul for this much, and it, or Cocoa Absolute, and it actually had cocoa in it. It's brown. You gotta, you have to really, um, you know, make sure you rub it in really quickly so it doesn't stain. I think I like this one better. I'm gonna be 100% honest. This is amazing. The, co the, the Cocoa Absolute was good, but, and it smelled like cocoa, but it almost had that, it wasn't a sweet dark chocolate, it was like a bitter dark chocolate. This one is just amazing. If this does not morph on my skin and stays smelling like this, it's going to be so good. And I'm really curious to see how long lasting these are. Okay, so the next one I got was, okay, wait, I'm going to put the ones that I definitely are, am ordering biggers, biggers of. Um, this black marshmallow, or butterscotch marshmallow frosting. Oh my god, I don't want to, uh, I'm trying not to drop these, I have them all on my computer table. Is a definite, definite. Okay, so Hearts on Fire Gelato. I want to separate the ones that I'm, I'm definitely going to order bigger sizes in. I only have, oh, I I'm not going to have enough fingers. Because I ordered like 24. Oh, let me tell you what it is first. Hearts on Fire Gelato. D D E F G H I. I know. Alphabet song. Sorry, guys. Not really. But that's how I do it. Um, okay. Black vanilla bean, fluffy Italian gelato infused with decadent shots of hazelnut coffee, drizzled generally, generously with sticky gobs of melted ca caramel, then scooped lovingly into a freshly made waffle cone. Okay, how can you not, how can that not sound amazing? Oh, this is good. 
This is really, really good. I have Coco Mallow too from Solstice Scents and I mean Co Cafe Mallow and it's very coffee. This is mostly caramel and vanilla bee. Oh my God. And vanilla bee, but you definitely can smell the hazelnut coffee in it. Ooh. And the waffle cone. I don't know if I catch marsh. Mar oh, well, there isn't marshmallow in this one. Oh my god, you guys! I I think I'm gonna order like every single thing from this line. This is just crazy. So good. And what I also like too is like there's one called Heavenly Vanilla, and they put a little note in there. It says, "Please note this fragrance is extremely light and will be best suited for for, for perfume." So like. If it's ordered in other products, because they do have other bath care products, um, it might be too light. So, and they tell you that, so that's pretty cool. This smells like ice, like like gelato ice cream. This is really, this is really good too. Um, oh, I'm getting oil all over the place. And this is just what I did not want because I don't want it to get on my labels because I didn't realize they had those labels. Again, like I said, I really wish that perfumers would put, you know, not paper labels. Okay, this I can't even pronounce to you. This is Shareju. Share Shareju. Sh focus. Now it doesn't want to focus. At first it didn't want to unfocus. There you go, share Jew, or I don't know, that's how I'm pronouncing it. I don't know if that's correct or not. Come on. Jeez, having focusing issues today. This is, I'm going down instead of up. Oh, they have, oh my God, their stuff is amazing. There's these scents are just crazy, crazy, crazy. Love them. They have boo-boo banana. I almost got that one too, but I don't think I did. Um, okay, this is a type. So obviously this must be made by somebody else. I don't know who it is. This is honey, musk, incense, tobacco leaf, hay sugar, amber, iris rose, and sandalwood. So you guys know that that's like you know, my kind of sense. So if I'm not ordering sweet foodies, then I'm ordering this stuff. I love it. I love it. This is definitely, this could be a men's fragrance too. I don't know if I'm getting the, um, everything that's in here. Ooh, this is so good. I don't even really know how to describe this to you. You can definitely smell the rose in here and the sandalwood. I get the tobacco leaf. It's just a musky, musky, floral, woodsy. I, I mean, it's kind of hard. It's so hard to describe. It's really nice, though. I like it a lot. I really do. Oh my god, I can't wait to just like really play with these and wear each one and figure out, you know, which ones I like best. Um, that is something different. That is something different. Are there two in what what else is in here? I'm like that is something oh here's another package. Nope, that's something different. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, I ordered way more than this. Okay, so this is, I got the black chocolate, I got the black, I got the black voodoo, right? Black chocolate, black, black voodoo. Um, peanut butter swirl ice cream. Oh, this ordered wrong. Pink patchouli and unread. That's okay, because I have the list written down, so... She did give me everything, but if you look closely here on the invoice, like these were supposed to be my my six cent picks, 
And because they were duplicates, like if you look down here, look, there's duplicates. It duplicated my six cents. I wanted 24 cents, but that's okay. I mean, to start off with, because I'm looking at this box, I'm like, why is this so small? But that's it. The ordering went wrong, but that's okay. Um, I'll start off with these because I definitely have some favorites. Okay, so I asked for, they didn't have it in the dram. I couldn't find it, but I did see it on the scent list. This is the, and this they covered in scotch tape, which I love. This is, this is what you get from Solstice Scents. And for like two something, I think, a piece. This is the light blue type. Um, I love light blue, but see, this is what you get for three fifty. I mean, this is one use to me, if that. So that's what I was kind of afraid that they were. But then I kind of saw the, saw the bottles and was like, no, this light blue type. They didn't have it, but they had it in the scent list. And I love light blue. My brother bought it for me for Christmas one year. It's like seventy five bucks a bottle. It's really expensive. It's by Dolce and Gabbana, but. I got so many compliments when wearing this, and it's not one of my normal um, scents, but I really, really love it. It's Sicilian Citron, Bluebell, Granny Smith Apple, which you guys know I can't stand apple, but this in this, it seems to go good. Jasmine, Sambac, Bamboo, White Rose, Cedarwood, Amber, and Musk. So let's see if this smells anything like the real thing. It does. I mean, it smells a little different because this is in an oil, and obviously, the other one I got was in the perfume. It smells really good. It's got a real tang to it. I don't know if that's a Granny Smith apple. But it's not your typical floral, which is what I really, really like. So, if I can get this in a bigger, I definitely will. Um, okay, so then I ordered a couple other things that were not perfumes. This is, this was a freebie. This is Coco Mango Body Butter, because I don't think I ordered that one, right? Let me just double check here, my handy dandy. I love when people do invoices, because sometimes when you order a whole lot of stuff. Nope, this was a freebie. This is, I'm, let me put back in here what I have don't have yet because what I haven't opened because I'm losing track here of what. This is Coco Mango Body Butter. And this is an apricot macaroons. And I love how they tape everything. Um, so this is just a sample of their body butter. But I like how everything's taped so that you don't have to worry about it. Oh, is it going to rip the label? Oh, it didn't. Surprise, surprise. I'm looking to see if my the oils on my hands are... This butterscotch marshmallow is just going, you guys. Like, oh my god, this is crazy. And that black black chocolate is just to die for, too. Like, Mike, I just smell so amazing right now. It's craziness. Okay, so apricot macaroons body butter. So it comes in this little plastic, you know, thing right here, and I'm just going to, ooh, wow. This is very thick, you guys. This is really super duper thick. This smells amazing. It smells just like macaroons. Love it. The almond does not have that cherry note to it, which I can't stand. This is very super duper thick. I like this a lot. Um... Ooh, and it's not, but it's not oily at all. It smells amazing. When you put it on your skin, it smells more almondy than macaroon. But it's really, really nice. I love the consistency of this. This is a really nice body butter. It's a lot thicker than I thought it was going to be. Um, it is quite, quite, quite thick. I mean, I don't know if you guys can see this. Or not, it doesn't look, but it, it is really super thick. So I put my finger on it, hope thinking like I'd be able to get it off here easy, and you really can't. It's very thick. Um, let me see. Mm. 
really, really nice, really emollient. And it just really does smell good. It smells really, really good. Um, does it say the ingredients on here? Obviously paraben free. The, this, oh, ingredients, they're so small. Hold on. <laughs> Water, cocoa butter, mango butter, balsam, babusu oil, avocado oil, rice bran oil, meadow foam oil. Um, some things I can't pronounce. Calendula oil, glycerin, aloe extract, vitamin E oil, fragrance. Um, and then some other things that I think are just, you know, like stabilizers. It smells really good. It really does. And a little goes a long way. Mmm. Smells really, really good. Okay. So that was a sample. And I believe that was in here with this. But, and I like this container, I mean, I know it doesn't come in this container, but I like this sample container. They did tape it down, but it, it stays closed, so that's pretty cool. So you don't have to worry about it, you know, going, getting all messed up and going elsewhere. Okay, so the next things that I ordered was, okay, this I ordered because I was super curious about this. Um, this is called Meow. And this is an intimate cleanser. So I don't know if you guys, um, you know, just do plain soap and water down there, you know, on your girly bits. It says for your extra sensitive bits made with patented, pat, a patented soap, pat, patented, patent, patented, pat, oh my God, Chris, <laughs> whatever, you know what I want to say, soap blend that is page balanced and specially formulated for individuals susceptible to UTI infections from soap. Um, OBGYN tested and safe for pregnancy, which, you know what, guys, like, I've never actually had a urinary tract infection. I don't want one. I've heard that they're awful. Um, but, you know, in other kind of infections that sometimes when you use stuff down there, you know, we're us girls, you know, we're very kind of, you know, sensitive down there. Um, so this just has water, rose flower oil, chamomile extract, lavender water, glycerins, and some other things that I can't pronounce. But I really liked the idea of this. It's pretty small. I'm trying to think. Let me see how much it was because bath. Nope. I guess it's not on bath. Personal care. It's under personal care. Okay, this was only $2.99, and it's, it's one fluid ounce. So it's extra gentle, extra gentle cleaner. You can, can you get it in a bigger size? You can get it in two ounces too, but I wanted to try it first. And the two ounces costs $5.50. So, of course, I wanted to try it first. It says, for your extra sensitive bits, a one ounce bottle of this rich concentrated formula should last you a month or so. So obviously you're not going to use this on every part of your body. You're just going to use it on your sensitive parts, your girly parts. Um, so it's specially formulated for individuals if you're susceptible to that kind of stuff. Um, and it comes from the following scent choice. It has the following scent choices, cocoa marshmallow, which is what I got. Um, which is cocoa extract with a splash of marshmallow, fresh strawberry, which is lightly French, lightly scented in fresh strawberries, not too sweet, not too Jolly Ranchers-ish, green tea spritzer, which is green tea with a splash of soda, and then they also have unscent, unscented. Um, please be aware the base smell of this product is quite strong. Okay, well we will we will see. Cocoa pink. Okay. I'm not getting quite strong. It smells like a really nice, light cocoa marshmallow smell. I really like this. Um, I'm not going to, like, touch it because it's a soap, and then I don't want to, you know, like, put my hands in my eyes. But really like this idea. Thought I'd give that a shot. Um, the next thing that I got is... This Dermabrasion Face Wash. 
let me see, is it under scrubs? No, they have soft bubble um, sugar scrubs. Personal care. They have, they do have the silky soft body oils, which I'm so, and they have the dry oil spray. They have a linen spray. They have underarm deodorant, candy deodorant, which I think is like an all natural deodorant. I'm trying to find this derm abrasion. Mm. Cleansers? Okay. So this kind of intrigued me. This is sulfate free. Oh, let me see if you can even see this. Dermabrasion face wash. So it's sulfate free. Um, a gentle, clean rinse face wash with real dermabrasion crystals that exfoliate and polish the skin, leaving you with a fresh glow and smooth skin. I have told you guys before that my skin is combination, but it's weird because it's dry and oily at the same time, not in any particular area, just kind of all over. So I'm huge into exfoliating. So this is a one ounce. This was $4.50 for one ounces or one ounces, one ounce, oh, this sticker's gonna rip, okay, I'm gonna have to cut this, um, similar products sell for over $180 and contain, and contain SLS or petroleum-based chemicals, this does not, Coco Pink's face wash is petroleum-free, sulfate-free, oil-free, paraffin-free, made with pH balanced, gentle surfaces that will not irritate sensitive skin, great for all skin types. It says, make sure you use on wet or damp skin, and a tiny amount is all that is needed. So I'm really wonderful to use on the back of arms as for an effective PKO treatment. My daughter gets this all the time. Um, if you get those bumps on your arms, you know what I mean, especially in the winter, that's called PKO. Um, so it's good for that. So you can get it one ounce for three fifty. Oh, four fifty. It's four fifty. Or you can get four ounces for sixteen ninety nine. But again, I wanted to just test this company out, so I just went with the small stuff for now. Okay, this is very solid. Mine, as you can see, is cracked. Let me show you. Mine is cracked, but it's very solid. It's very powdery and like gritty. It feels like sand. So you obviously want to wet your skin. There's no scent on this either. Um, and just use this sparingly. Um, I hope this doesn't break up too much because I can see in this container it might, you know, get messy. Not so sure. I'm going to put that over there. So I'm really curious to try that out. Mm. And then the last thing that I got that I was really looking forward to, which was kind of weird. Yeah, so it says apply a small amount to wet skin, rub gently in circular motions, increasing pressure depending on the intensity of exfoliation desire. Do not over scrub which I have told you guys before, if you over scrub your skin, you're going to produce more oils. So you really don't want to and more sebum and your skin's going to feel actually kind of like cloggier and, you know, not as fresh as if you, you know, so twice a week is really good. Um, and then rinse well. So it has grapeseed oil, um, leaf, aloe leaf juice in it, almond oil, that kind of stuff. So Okay, so the next thing I wanted to try, this is also very small too, so I don't know if I got this in a sample size. See if I can open this little dandy purple thing. I love the tissue paper. Like, you know, it's so cute. Oh, I got something else. Hold on. I'm confused here. I'm confused. I got something else that was not on my order. Or maybe it was. I did. I just forgot about it. Okay, two more things. This is um, Touchy. This is an oil facial cleanser. Now, I know that sounds kind of weird. Um, skin type, and this is in Sahara skin type. Sahara Desert Dry. So, if your skin is super, super dry, then you can get this. Um, let's see. So, this is a one ounce. This was $5.99. $5.99 for this one ounce. 
But you can, which formula do you want? Do you want normal? Do you want oily or dry? This says, it's funny, it says Sahara Desert Dry. So I put dry skin. If you have oily skin, obviously, you can still get this. Um, it's for easily offended skin. Do you have oversensitive skin? Does your skin get annoyed with you? Are you always running to attend to it? It's every need. Does it bicker when you use a scent it may not like or a cleanser it doesn't appreciate, uh, appreciate even though you tried to... Con convince it that it's worth the hundred dollars you dished out for it alas nothing pleases your dreaded skin you are a slave to its every demand for fear of waking up to a protest and even that utter sign of discontent a pimple give your skin something it won't complain about something that will change its mind and encourage the possibility of reconciliation a cleanser fashioned after the famous oil cleanser method which is described in detail here so i'm just going to describe it to you so I thought this was kind of, they're all cruelty free. Um, it says apply oil to dry skin and massage well. So as your skin is dry, you don't add water. You just apply this wet washcloth in hot water and apply to face to open pores and release impurities. Wipe gently, rinse wash, washcloth under hot water and repeat, repeat two to three times. This has, um, repeating the, the, um, um, but the applying it to your face and then wiping thing, not not applying this two or two to three four two to three times on your face. So this is castor oil, sunflower oil, olive oil, grapeseed oil, evening primrose oil, orange oil. Now what's funny is I found this trick ages ago on somewhere I don't remember, and what it was is I would put Vaseline all over my face, right, and then. You would do the kind of do the same thing. You would take a hot, you know, you don't, I mean, not globs of Vaseline, but you put Vaseline all over your face, and then you'd take a hot, as hot as you can get it. I mean, obviously, you don't want to burn your skin, washcloth, and put it on your face. And just let it sit there for a little bit till it's no longer like really steamy. Do that a couple times. So this is sort of along the same lines. And then wipe everything off, make sure it's, you know, all wiped off. Um, it makes your skin super soft. So if you have any like dry patches, you don't need to use this. Like say just, you know, mo ma mainly my forehead is dry. Maybe I'll just use it on my forehead. You know what I mean? Or, or if your cheeks are just dry or you have just a dry nose or whatever, you don't need to use this all over. But it's really super, super duper cool. I really liked this idea. So I cannot wait to try this. Let me see if it smells like anything. No, it just kind of has like a nice fresh scent to it. It's not, you know, you can kind of smell the orange oil. Okay, so the last thing I wanted to try was this this little product called M29. And this is anti-aging cell renewal serum. Now, I'm not usually into these things. This thing cost me $4.99. But you know, if you get if you go to the drugstore and you buy like retinol products or anything like that, you're gonna be paying for this size 50 bucks at the least. You know what I mean? I it's kind of crazy. So I saw this and I was like, $4.99? Wow, okay. Um, I'm not gonna read you all the ingredients, but I will show you what. And if I find this Sahara dry skin. This one, the Sahara Dry Skin, is too oily for me. I will use it just maybe as like a makeup remover or something to that effect. And I will absolutely switch to maybe an oily one or something like that and see how that works. Because soap is very, very, very drying to your skin. And I am a soap and water person for the most part. So I really have to learn how to kind of use things differently. Um, you know, how that goes. So serums, I'm going to go under serums. So I'm 29. You could also get this, this is 4.5 milliliters, this little one. You can also get it in 30 milliliters, which is $39. So it's more, but of course, you know, I just wanted to try it, see if it works. So the I'm 29 Anti-Aging Cell Renewal Serum. This is why I bought this. Um, it says this oil-free serum is packed with nutrients that offer the... The latest in anti-aging technology, great care went into, refor into formulating a product that shows optimal results by using the highest quality scientifically proven peptides that provide both short and long-term benefits to your skin. Vitamin C and green tea extract provide additional antioxidant benefits. I-29 is highly concentrated. One pump is enough to treat the entire face. 
similar formula, similar, similar, similar formulas with identical active ingredients without the vitamin C and antioxidant, without the vitamin C and antioxidant. So this has more stuff than you can usually get. So for 120 to 200 an ounce, which that's what I was saying. Like, I mean, it's kind of crazy if you go to like to Macy's, the beauty, you know, supply of uh, the beauty counter. I mean, they're going to sell you this stuff that's kind of, you know, crazy. So apply to cleanse skin once or twice a day, depending on your anti-aging goals. For dry skin types, use I'm wearing 29 under your moisturizer for an extra boost of skin re renewal, repair, and anti-aging. It has green tea that tells you what it has in it, right? And I thought this was pretty cool. It has green tea extract. Green tea has antioxidant, anti-inflammatory, and astringent qualities. It has rose photolate, which offers rejuvenating and hydrating properties. Chamomile extract, anti-inflammatory, antiseptic, and skin softening qualities. Glycerin is a humectant and a moisturizer. Um, homeostatin will produce a better moisturized, more elastic, firmer skin with noticeably less wrinkles. Peptidite functions as a skin tightener, which provides immediate tightening of your skin. Syncol stimulates collagen synthesis, actively removes any type of wrinkles, firms and moisturizes skin. Vitamin C helps to promote the biosynthesis of collagen and also helps to lighten and brighten your skin. Um, high, hyaluronic acid is a natural component in skin and serves to keep skin tissue soft and supple. Coenzyme Q10, I've been hearing a lot of this as far as skin products goes. This plays a vital role in the production of collagen and other proteins that make up the extracellular matrix. I mean, this is like a biology class here, but when the extracellular matrix is disrupted or depleted, skin will lose its elasticity, smoothness, and tone, which causes wrinkles and pre premature aging. Syntax reduces wrinkles, improves skin firmness, and sodium lactate is another moisturizer. So, um... Obviously, it says these st statements have not been evaluated by the Food and Drug Administration. Of course, you know, whatever. So I just thought I would try this because I thought it was really, really cool. Um, and the other thing it said, too, is that it, it helps to not build up so much sebum. And I get, like, a lot. If you get, like, a lot of blackheads and stuff like that, that's, you know, sebum being produced and everything like that. Your skin cells are being produced like too quickly, but they're not really sloughing off quickly enough. Um, so this helps slow that down too. So like I said, for $4.99 to try this out, you're going to get this same size for, you know, a hundred bucks someplace else. I mean, it's kind of crazy. Um, so that's what I got guys. Um, you know, so I'm pretty excited to try all these. Like I said, there's some, these, some of these scents here are absolutely amazing. I have my absolute definite, and then I have my, you know, I'm not so sure, like, I love them all, actually. I do love them all, um, scent-wise, scent but, you know, I really want to see how they hold up on my skin, and if I have to keep reapplying, you know, that kind of thing, because I will definitely go back, order in the perfume, and order in the body mists, for sure. Um, really excited to try this stuff. I will, in my empties or what I've used this week's, um, videos, I will tell you how I liked everything. So anyway, that's it guys. CocoPink.net. Um, so it's C-O-C-O-A-P-I-N-K.net. I will po post that link below. And don't forget guys, vendor sponsored giveaway up here for April. Um, we're entering the middle of April. Um, I still have a little more time, but... Um, you know, please enter. Really, really great giveaway this month. Love it. I will talk to you guys later. Bye.